you show, the moment you share it with people, it's very special. But especially with this, it's always been about sharing. No matter where we're rehearsing it, no matter where we're performing it, like it's always different as well because of who's there, because of what space we're in, you know, and all these little things add to the performance. So the fact that then we had 200 people then watching, or however many came, that then each individual that was there added to the piece. We met in a choreographic alumni program for like NYDC. And then we met again in Portugal during the summer intensive. Summer you said, why don't we do a duet? And I was like, ah, yeah, why not then? Yeah. Like something that fueled it a lot was like we both have a huge interest in training in, in depth and hard and working and pushing each other and unlocking ourselves in our training. We noticed during rehearsals we kept, sometimes we judge ourselves and we're like, why don't we just forget that? If we keep this openness and this playfulness just like we do in the studio and we keep it in it on a stage format, we should express and be honest and do what we want to achieve. residency of research and we were talking and I mentioned that maybe we could use Tommy as a live musician. So he came in a little bit after we'd already kind of got things going mm -hmm. and we shared the ideas with him. He came to the studio and we sent him footage, he was away making some tracks, playing around. It wasn't until like this last week really where we had real time in the studio to like play and like run for the improvised score. We're just kind of having that conversation which you know hear or you don't see between us but you definitely feel like the connection between us three it was unreal especially last night last night was like the pinnacle and i think it's a, a nice landmark for us to go from there